In this video, I'm going to share with you the four best strategies that you can use to help prepare for your CMA exam day. There are a lot of people out there who are saying that the exam is really hard and it's almost impossible to pass if you don't have a lot of experience in accounting or finance. But that's not true at all. I'm going to show you what to do leading up to your exam day, what to do the night before the exam, what to do the day of the exam, what to pack, and what to expect at your local Prometric Testing Center. Hi, I'm Nathan Liao and I've helped over 40,000 accountants study for the CMA exam. And my mission is to help you accelerate your career and income to a six-figure salary as a certified management accountant. Let's start with what you must do leading up to the CMA exam day. In the very last days before your test, there are a few areas of priority that should command your attention. I recommend that you focus on two test-related areas, taking plenty of CMA practice tests and memorizing CMA exam formulas. Practice makes perfect, and this is something you really can do up until the 11th hour. Continue to practice areas you found challenging. An online test bank, actually, with questions and practice exams is invaluable for putting in the work during those final couple of weeks and days leading up to your exam. Secondarily, don't skimp on formula coverage. It's going to be a make it or break it component for your test performance. Go over formulas, preferably with a good formula guide again and again to memorize as much as possible. So tell me, what's your biggest fear about the CMA exam day? Let me know in the comments so I can help. Now, let's go over the night before the CMA exam. Tomorrow's the big day. You've got one more sleep until the exam. What should you do with it? First, let's talk about what not to do. Don't cram. That's really the entire piece of advice. Just don't cram. You've already practiced. You've already reviewed as much as you can. You've already completed the test drive, hopefully, if you haven't done so yet. Now it's time to put the books away. Second, don't eat or drink too much the night before. It's not time for party mode just yet. There are all kinds of expert recommended nutrition tips to boost mental clarity and energy during a test. But a good rule of thumb is just to not overdo it. Don't eat too much or drink alcohol the night before your exam. Excess food or liquid consumption could impact your sleep that night and not to mention your digestion the next day, so try to keep it light. And avoid any alcohol as it can definitely affect sleep and your ability to perform well on the exam. Third, don't overthink or don't worry too much. Yes, exams are stressful, especially ones with stakes as high as the CMA exam, because it's easy to start worrying about what might happen if you fail or suddenly forget everything you've learned. Let me remind you, at this point in the game, you've studied hard, you've focused, you've sacrificed. As long as you trust your resources and put in the time, you'll be ready, trust me. Worrying won't change the outcome at this point. But do rest. I'm a big fan of mindfulness in all aspects of life, but I cannot stress enough how important it is to be in the right headspace on the day of the CMA exam. This will not happen by accident. You have to set your intentions and begin to tune into your thought patterns. It's important to understand your optimal mental acuity windows, but also to be able to channel your focus. Remember, you're about to head into four hours of testing. It's essential that you do not go in with an overtaxed brain. This means that the simple tip for preparing for the CMA exam day mentally is rest and take it easy. Go for walks, see some friends, watch your favorite show. You've spent months going through your CMA study plan, so let your conscious mind rest and your subconscious take over. Do pack. If you're doing an in-person test, use the night before your test to get all of your test documentation and work together. Lay out what you'll wear, pack your bag with everything you're planning to take for your locker and into the testing room. Do clear your mind. Almost everyone is going to have exam day nerves. It's normal. 
It's easy to tell yourself to not worry or overthink, but that's easier said than done. There are many ways to clear your mind so you can get into the exam calm and ready to succeed. How you manage anxiety and nervous thoughts will vary based on your personality. Think back to a time when you felt worried. How did you manage those emotions? The answer is different for everyone. Some candidates meditate, some do manifestation exercises, some spend quality time with their friends and family, some eat a great meal or take a walk outdoors. The good news is that learning to calm nerves is a lateral skill you'll carry into your career forever. Do spend time with people who make you feel good. Before your exam, you may notice some feelings of self-doubt creeping up on you. It's normal. As a remedy, I recommend spending time with people who bring out the best in you. Studies have shown a correlation between social relationships and positive mental health. So, if your mom is your biggest fan, give her a call. If your spouse gives you great pep talks, now is the perfect time to ask for one. Surrounding yourself with supporters will go a long way to putting yourself at ease. Now, you may be wondering how to start your CMA exam day. And here are my general tips for getting a good start to your big day. Wake up early. Give yourself a longer than average time to go through your typical morning routine. You want plenty of time in case something unexpected happens. This doesn't mean you should alter your sleep schedule too drastically. A main priority should be to get a minimum of eight hours of sleep if that's what you usually get. And if your test is scheduled early in the morning, it's a good idea to gradually adjust your sleep schedule if you don't already wake up early. The idea is to be as comfortable and awake as possible on the day of your CMA exam. This means getting up early enough that you don't feel rushed, but ensuring that you are not exhausted from an unexpected shift in routine. Another tip is dress comfortably. You don't need to dress to impress. No one at Prometric Test Center has anything to do with your CMA exam score, so don't dress like you're going to a job interview. Wear whatever makes you feel comfortable and focused. Pick clothes that will limit your distractions instead of focusing on leaving an impression. While on the topic of clothes, be sure to wear layers. Testing centers can be too cold for comfort, which can impact test taking. You will not be able to leave your seat to get a sweater from your locker during the test, so wear a sweater or jacket to the testing room. This way, you can remove a layer if you're too warm during your exam. Caffeinate as usual. So follow your normal caffeine routine. This means if you don't normally drink caffeine, now is not the time to start. If you already drink a cup of joe in the morning, carry on. Caffeine can have a major impact on your cognitive abilities. The studies show mixed findings in some cases, but many have found that it can improve working memory and reaction time. On the other hand, if you're not used to caffeine, High doses can increase your anxiety, which is not good for the exam. You know your body best, so proceed as usual. Also, eat a solid breakfast. Your brain needs nutrients and energy to perform optimally. Some great foods for cognitive performance include leafy green vegetables, fatty fish, berries, and walnuts. So, a spinach omelette will be a great option for breakfast. You could also have oatmeal with berries and walnuts or a spinach and kale salad with grilled salmon on top. Whatever works for you. If you're going to an in-person test, leave with plenty of time to arrive to the testing center. You'll have tested the route by now, I hope, but may not have accounted for time of day traffic. And plus, unexpected things can happen on the road every day. The stress can have a major impact on cognitive performance, so it's important to take every necessary precaution to prevent feeling stressed out on exam day. Finally, once you've arrived at your testing center, take a few minutes to center yourself. Do some deep breaths, drink water, review your notes, or run through a quick guided meditation. Remember that nerves can impact performance, so be sure to prioritize your mental wellness before you head into the exam room. 
Now, which brings me to what should you bring to the testing center? And here are a few things you should not forget to pack for your CMA exam day. At least two forms of approved IDs, government issued of course, your exam registration confirmation number, an approved calculator, flashcards or notes for use in the waiting room, earplugs, any necessary prescriptions, and also water and a healthy snack. Most of your belongings will be stored in an assigned locker for the duration of the exam. If you are unsure of whether or not a certain item is permitted, ask one of the test administrators. They are there to ensure your experience is as smooth as possible. One of the bonuses offered with the CMA Exam Academy 16-week accelerator program is the opportunity to experience a real-life exam day during a Prometric test drive. If you have any uncertainties about what to bring or what to expect, this is a great way to have your questions answered in advance of the big day. One skill that can help you ace the exam on the first attempt is speed reading. And I have some great tips to help you with that. And if you need resources to help you pass the exam, download my free exam cheat sheet in PDF format. It's packed with the nine best tactics that will help you pass the exam on the first attempt, in addition to everything I've shared with you today. The download link is in the show notes below. Learn to speed read to ensure a passing score. Watch this next video to learn this crucial skill.